Well hello there Scorpio and welcome to this little corner of the internet that is Wild Fox Alchemy. If we haven't met before my name is Maria Guyon and I'm an intuitive business coach and tarot card reader and I'm here to do your monthly business and finance reading for December 2021. You might hear a bit of noise outside, I've got a bit of a gale blowing out there but there's nothing I can do about it, it rattles the windows periodically. <laughs> I hope it doesn't disturb you too much and I hope the weather where you are is a little nicer and calmer. Pull up a chair, get yourself a hot drink and let's have a chat about what's coming up in December for you, Scorpio. So we start with Cat Spirit. Claim your independence. This is for your finance reading. Are you reliant on somebody else for money, Scorpio? Are you in a partnership where... Maybe your partner earns more money than you. Maybe your partner holds the purse strings. Maybe you want you want to start a business because you want independence. And I'm going to address that a little bit. There is nothing more liberating, is the word I'm looking for, than having your own money. And in a lot of cases, if you are stuck with somebody that you wish you were not stuck with, Starting a business can be a very good answer to that situation. Now, there will be people out there for whom starting a business is risky. You may not want your partner to know that that's what you're doing. And if they're at home all day, it can be very difficult to hide it, I guess. But I feel like there's a message for you today that is telling you that you need to claim your independence. Now, it could be that you need to start your business before you leave your partner so that you've got a financial cushion. It could be that it's the answer to your issues that maybe you will have to leave and then start your business. But, you know, nobody can see inside your head. Nobody can see what you're planning if that's what you need to do. OK, I feel really strongly about women starting businesses and becoming financially independent for that single reason I had to do that for myself with a previous partner where I earned way 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 less than he did and he was very happy whilst ever I was tied to the kitchen sink barefoot and pregnant but then when I decided I wanted more and I went from care work into studying the law and I got law jobs that paid me more than he was earning he was very threatened by that he wanted the money he loved the money <laughs> but it crossed his mind that I did not have to stay with him that I could leave at any point and he became really really strange he was very jealous very possessive became convinced that I was having affairs with anybody in trousers oh it was it was ridiculous it was mind-boggling and actually, as a result of his behaviour, I left a lot sooner than maybe I would have. But I was lucky. I had the independence. So I feel like there's a message here for you that if you're sitting on the fence, if you're wondering whether starting a business is the right thing to, you, to do, if you're sitting in a situation where you would love to leave but don't know how, consider starting a business. Really do consider it. If you need any help with that, just... Give me a, a message in the comments because we can talk a little bit about, you know, what your next steps might need to be. If, you know, maybe get to the bottom of what kind of business you could start and how you could move forward if you actually left the situation that you're in. OK, I feel like this is quite a serious message to start with. So if you're not in that situation, Scorpio, and in a way I hope you're not. Um, this could also be about partnership, a business partnership, that maybe you need to be independent in that respect as well. Maybe there's a couple of you that are involved in this business and somebody else has the purse strings. Maybe, you know, they're the ones that decide how much you get paid and all the rest of it. I think just look at where you could need to be independent financially. This is your money reading, I'll just remind you. There's something there where you are dependent on somebody else and I don't think you like it. I don't think it empowers you. I don't think it puts you in a good position. So I feel like you're being told now 
to empower yourself to be independent not to be reliant on other people all the time okay time for you to stand on your own two feet there Scorpio financially where you need to focus your energy the six of shells sentiment and joy this is a nice card this is about cooperating with other people this is about working well with others it's also about being in harmony there's an element here with you know the word sentiment that it can be about memories memories of times when you've cooperated with other people thinking about times when what you've been doing has been a joy in your financial reading I'm just getting this just getting this feeling that there's been a time when you've succeeded and you you need to think back to that time it could be that you've cooperated with somebody that is from your childhood or that makes you feel very homely or you know kind of takes you back to those feelings of childhood memories that makes you feel warm and at home makes you feel a bit sentimental but also brings you a lot of joy I feel like you've been asked to invoke those sorts of feelings that you need to work with somebody who makes you feel safe and secure. Okay, let's move on. Your strengths. We've got the seven of acorns, determination and stamina. This is a card that can be about moving forward in alignment it can be about achieving things but it can also be about being challenged by others that see what you're doing and feel envious or critical of what you're doing this is a reminder that you have the determination to move forward no matter what other people say you have the stamina to keep pushing forward no matter what people say you might feel like you have to fight a little bit for what you have and for what you're doing but your strength is that you are quite capable of doing that. You're very able to stand up for yourself. You can still move forward. And as long as you are in alignment with your own soul's purpose, what other people say is neither here nor there. Critic critics, haters, challengers, they are nothing that matters. They really don't matter. You just need to keep pushing forward with determination. Don't let them kind of put you off your stride okay because I feel like sometimes we can be a little bit put off can't we somebody starts being hypercritical or starts a trolling campaign and we just want to go to bed and put our head under the duvet and never come out again this is a card that's saying that your strength is that you will not do that you will be determined you will carry on you will believe in what you're doing so much that you'll just carry on warnings and obstacles card for a feather sanctuary and rest in this position this is a warning not to go crazy, not to be working too hard, not to let your thoughts go mad, that you need to be thinking more along the lines of quietening your mind, of grounding your thoughts, and maybe taking some time to meditate, to, to rest and relax. Don't block those feelings, okay? Don't be overworking. I do, I do get a sense that in order to claim your independence, you think it might double your workload. But the message here is that you can cooperate with somebody else. It could be somebody, a family member or a family friend, a childhood friend that you know very well that will be able to collaborate with you. And no matter what the critics say, you will keep moving forward. But Spirit is saying don't forget to take care of yourself throughout all this. Don't be just powering forwards and forgetting self-care. And then we end with the Two of Acorns, which is another one of my favourite cards, actually. This is about you planning what comes next. Flying up to a great height, looking down, focusing in on the details. And it also stands for getting out of your comfort zone. Okay? But it's also a card, it's a two, so it's also a card of balance and partnership. So I do feel like there's advice here for you to to collaborate definitely but at the same time in a way that does not make you lose your independence your financial independence you mustn't depend on somebody else for your money or your business success 
I think sometimes the Spirit is guiding me now to say to you that sometimes when we have a partnership, there tends to be a dominant partner and maybe a more passive partner. And maybe the dominant partner is the one that is kind of making you feel a bit dependent, making you feel like they make all the decisions, that you don't really get much say in any of this, that, you know, you need to be reclaiming this independent feeling. But at the same time, you're definitely being told that you need to collaborate with others, but in a healthy way, okay, in a balanced, healthy way that allows you to feel confident to, you know, make, make lots of decisions, but not to let anxiety about any of this get the better of you. I wonder actually if this seven of acorns where I said, you know, sometimes you're going to get critics or haters or people that challenge you. A lot of people, when they are the dominant partner, don't want to give that up. They like being the one that is in charge. They like being the one that makes the decisions. They like you to be the yes man. All right. So in claiming your independence financially, you could find that there is some pushback. And that might make you feel very anxious and make you want to just agree to go back to, to the status quo, if you like, to go back to feeling stable and secure. It might make you feel insecure and unstable actually you know wobbling things a bit and saying look you know I, I want to to feel independent I want to be independent I don't want to always be relying on you and what you think and what you say I want to feel like my opinion matters that you know I'm able to make my own decisions on this but spirit is saying don't feel anxious you need to kind of get out of your comfort zone a bit and really stand up for what you want now I will say Every single reading that I have done for money this month has not really been about the cold hard cash. They've all been about either new income streams, building some sort of foundation, looking at the details or some other way that you can increase your income. But it's never been kind of very clear about you know oh, this is how much money you, you're going to make you can have a massive windfall or prosperity's arriving it's all very foundational really foundational and i feel like if you're going to increase your income that you need to be more independent that you need to be standing up for yourself and not letting other people tell you what's what whether that's a romantic partner at home who is very happy to siphon off the profits of your business or whether it's a business partner that you're in business with who is telling you what to do and you feel a bit like the support act so yeah just i'm just interested let me know in the comments if any of this is resonating with you let's get into business reading now <laughs> we start with just say yes this card is about you having an opportunity something coming in for you that you are unsure about and this is a message from spirit that says yes just say yes to it whatever it is because it's only going to be good <laughs> where you need to focus your energy we've got the chariot this is about discipline and determination it's about taking action it's about making decisions and really powering through with them taking control taking action really focusing being determined i always say this guy is the rhino and for such a big beastie he can be incredibly fast. He's one of those things where if he starts to charge towards you, you're not going to stop him. Okay? He can be a little bit slow to start, but once he gets going, there is no stopping him. He has his head down. He has his horn out ready to blast through any obstacles. He is determined. He is focused on his outcome. So that's where you need to focus your energy on your outcome. Say yes to whatever it is that you needed clarity with whatever question it was that you had in your mind that you weren't sure about you're being guided to say yes and follow it through really focus on it put your head down and get going we've got the eight of feathers as your strengths this is all about you having the courage to find solutions to things it could be that you are wanting to say yes to something but you are worried that there are some obstacles in the way now, Spirit is here to tell you today that 
The obstacles are your limiting beliefs, your fears or your negative thoughts. They are not really obstacles. But there are solutions to them if you look hard enough. And it could involve you needing to have courage to see these solutions through. Okay? It could be that you are disregarding certain solutions because you're afraid, because you have fear of what might happen. But this is your strength, your courage. Your courage and your ability to find the solutions at times when you feel like you are lacking solutions. I feel like you've been a bit worried about all this, that this, whatever this decision is, it's been bothering you. You don't really know which way to jump. Well, now you're being told, <laughs> categorically. Possible obstacles, warnings, etc. We've got the King of Feathers, Logic and Justice. This, again, is about making decisions. It's about setting rules, boundaries, that sort of thing. I feel very much like this is all intertwined. The feathers are featuring quite a bit in this reading. Feathers are all really about intellect and thoughts, your rational mind, the truth, the facts, power, action, that sort of thing. Um, I just get the really strong feeling that you have perhaps been a pushover on something. That you have perhaps allowed other people to steamroll you. That you've not really been standing up for what you want. That there's some sort of dynamic here where you are the passive person. And you let other people make decisions for you. And it's time for that to stop. It's time for you to set boundaries now. To really make decisions on your own. To take the role of authority figure instead of the person who is the yes person, all right? And your outcome is the Empress, beauty and abundance, which, you know, can't get much better than that, can you really? She is all about birthing new things. She is all about abundance. She's also all about confidence. We've got two major arcanas here, life lessons. I feel very much like confidence is your keyword. Confidence is your keyword, Scorpio. There is an issue that I think you are unhappy with. I think you may well have put up with somebody that has stolen your independence. But it's now beginning to stick in your craw. You have had enough of it. You want out. You want to be able to stand up for yourself. You want to feel empowered. You want to feel focused. You want to feel like you're getting the benefit of the hard work that you do. But I do feel like you're being blocked by a lack of confidence, by an inability to really stand up and say, right, these are my boundaries. This is what I'm prepared to accept. This is what I'm not prepared to accept anymore. And I think because you feel like you're rocking the apple cart a bit, you feel reluctant. And I feel very much like the person that you don't want to rock the apple cart of is somebody that really matters to you, actually. You know, a, a romantic partner, a business partner that maybe is somebody that you've been friends with for a very long time. And because of it, you don't kind of want to lose the friendship or the partnership, necessarily. Some of you do, some of you don't care, some of you would be quite happy to lose it. Especially if they're taking advantage of you. But I feel like you're worried about rocking the boat because of what other people might say. And you're a bit anxious about it. You're getting quite worked up and resentful, I think, of what's going on. But I feel now the key to this is you being confident enough to say, enough's enough now. I've got solutions, I've got something I want to do, I'm feeling very determined and I'm setting these boundaries and no more will I be pushed around. I want to make the decisions in this business, not you. Okay, now if this is resonating with you, please do let me know. I'm going to pull some cards from the right away. Now, normally I clarify individual cards, but I'm not going to today because I feel like I don't want to. <laughs> I just want to pull some cards and see what comes out. 
I've got the two of wands, which is a repeat of this one, the two of acorns there, which is about planning what comes next. You see this guy, he's looking at the world in his hands. He's trying to decide where he's going to go to next. Now it could be that he's aware that he'll get seasick on this journey, but he knows that when he gets to where he's going, it will be worth it. Now then, what else have we got? We've got the Ace of Cups. This is about new relationships and it's about new ways of being creative. It's about new beginnings. But this is new beginnings in an emotional sense. This, the Cups are about feelings, your emotions, creativity, your intuition. I feel like you could be moving into partnership with somebody else. There's a new relationship. This could be a new business relationship. It could be a new romantic relationship. Now, I don't normally talk about romance in these readings, but sometimes it's there. It could be there's somebody there that you are fancying starting up something with. But I'm going to say just be aware, just be mindful of what listen at that just be mindful and set your boundaries is what spirit is saying to me now i've also got the eight of swords which is a repeat of this one the eight of feathers courage and solutions this is about limiting beliefs feeling like you're blindfolded feeling like you can't see any opportunities to get out of things you can't see solutions it makes you feel anxious but you're being told it's time for you to recognize these opportunities i've now got the tower <laughs> which is a catalyst for change. This is telling you that better times are coming, but something's got to change. There's got to be release and revelation somewhere. Something has got to change. A relationship has got to change here. You need to claim your independence back. And then I've got the Seven of Swords, which is about taking what's helpful, leaving the rest, that maybe there's some deceit going on. Maybe that's what you've discovered, that you are in business with somebody that's been deceiving you Scorpio is that what the problem is here that you have evaluated and you've realized that there is something going on that you don't like you really don't like it it's time for you to let it go and then we end with the wheel of fortune okay this is karma karma coming in it's a turning point. It's about change, possibilities, good luck. The end of a cycle and the start of a new one. I think there's the ending here of some sort of relationship. Somebody that has been having the upper hand and keeping you dependent. And I feel that that relationship is going to end now. But a new relationship is possibly coming in. Somebody else that you could work with that will actually help you move forward and make you feel more independent and more empowered rather than less but I think you're going to have to fight for it. I think you're going to find that you, there's the other person in all this is not going to just back down and give you that independence without an argument. They're going to fight it, and you are going to have to have the determination and stamina to fight back. Okay. Maybe they're, they're deceiving you when it comes to money and not really telling you the truth about what's going on in business, and you've uncovered that, and now you're thinking, I huh, don't want to be in this relationship any more. But there is another opportunity coming in, and I don't know whether that is a person that is going to come in and offer you something, or whether it is just a new opportunity for you to take up by yourself. But if it's not an opportunity that you're taking up by yourself, you're being reminded to set boundaries. There are solutions to all of this. You might feel anxious, you might feel like you've been blindfolded and you can't see the solutions, but they are there. You're going to need discipline. You're going to need determination. Determination comes up twice in this reading. Okay? But also, your solutions come up. Justice comes up. Karma comes up. Whoever's been doing you wrong is going to get theirs. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But you need to have confidence because you can create beauty and abundance in the end. You will end up in a really good position. So even though you might feel like you're going to have to fight, even though you might feel like you need a lot of courage and empowerment and all the rest of it, it will work out in the end. Okay? 
I'm going to leave that there, Scorpio. Please do let me know if that's resonated with you. If you did enjoy this reading, please do like, subscribe or share with someone that you feel might need it. If you do subscribe, it helps the algorithm to know that I have messages. And I really do think it's important that we get as many women as we can to run successful businesses because only by becoming wealthy and in positions of power can we change the world for the better. <laughs> I really do strongly believe that. I think working for other people for peanuts gets us nowhere. We have no voice. And it's time we women had a voice. And we could create lots of change in the world if we only take back our power. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Have a lovely December, Scorpio. Have a great holiday. And I will see you again in January with Love and Magic Always. This is Maria Guyon signing out. Thank you.